Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wilson Gymnasium, known as the Doghouse here in Wilson, North Carolina. Tonight we have a Conference Carolina matchup between the Barton College Bulldogs and the North Greenville University Crusaders. The Bulldogs are coming off a 69-54 win of, over of the Southeast Region foe, Wingate University. The Bulldog lineup features preseason All-American Gerald Boston, who is averaging 19.3 points per game, as well as five assists. For North Greenville, the, the Crusaders have started the season 2-0 with a dominating home win against NCAA foe Tokea Falls, 110-79, as well as beating Brevard in their last matchup. Tyshawn Patterson features their, their lineup as he holds the early scoring lead amongst the Conference Carolina institutions, averaging 28 points a game. We'll be right back from the doghouse after the starting lineups are announced in the National Anthem.
welcome back to the doghouse here as we have a battle of the unbeatens between the Conference Carolina institutions. To reiterate the starting lineups for the Crusaders of North Greenville University is a four guard lineup featuring Tim Franklin, Philip Brown, Keith Johnson, Tyshawn Patterson, and Chris Dean. And for the hometown Bulldogs, we have John Hart, Keith Manley, Gerald Boston, Brian McNair, and Aaron Brown. The Bulldogs are coming off a win against Winget University by a score of 69 to 54. And for the Crusaders, they are coming off a win against Brevard. The big name in the Crusaders lineup tonight is Ty Sean Patterson, who is it was averaging 28 points per game. The ball is underway in the doghouse. And that's Patterson with the ball. A handoff to Johnson. He steps out of bounds. The Bulldogs will take possession here as Brown will inbound. Franklin, heavy man-to-man -man pressure on Boston. Boston will cross half court and start the offense for the Bulldogs. McNair in the deep right wing. Hard out to Brown. Boston for three is up and good. Gerald Boston, the preseason All-American, gets the Bulldogs on the board early and starts this game off on the right way. A drive down the middle of the lane is blocked away by McNair. McNair, two blocks last game, and that's Brown hustling for the loose ball. That's going to be a timeout called by the Barton Bulldogs. A great hustle play by Aaron Brown. The keys for Barton in this game. They need to slow down the North Greenville offense as they are averaging 97 points a game in their first two contests. Barton needs to shoot the ball better as in two of the three first contests they have been outshot in terms of field goal percentage by the opposing team. And also they need to force turnovers. That's something that they have done very well so far this season. Forcing their team, the opponents to averaging 21 turnovers a game which includes 11 steals Keith Manley currently leading the Bulldogs with three steals a game and that's Manley who will inbound under the Crusaders hoop and will flip it in to Boston and as he will start the offense for the Bulldogs Boston the lone scorer in the game tonight with one three-pointer the shot, second shot is up. Once again, that's Boston for two. 19 minutes left in the game. 5 nothing. the Bulldogs lead as Brown. That's Patterson with the ball. He will step out of bounds again. That's the second time the Crusaders have been called for stepping on the line. Once again, Tyshawn Patterson leading Conference Carolina's institutions, averaging 28 points per game. Manley will inbound to Boston as he is guarded full court man-to-man -man pressure by Tim Franklin. Boston with five points here early in the game. Brown with the ball on the right wing. Brown penetrates, kicks out to Manley, and Manley will give it to Hart. McNair with the fadeaway. Shot is up, no good. The rebound by Hart, Hart's second chance, he goes up and is fouled. Hart has been a dominant force for the Bulldogs on the boards this year as he is currently the team leader in rebounds, averaging 6.7 rebounds per game. Hart will go to the line shooting two. He sets in, gets the ball. The first one is up and no good. John Hart currently averaging 12.3 points per game for the Bulldogs. As he gets the ball and he will shoot his second. The second shot is up and good for Hart. He is currently on the board. As Ty Sean Patterson comes the other way for the Crusaders. Patterson comes off a screen from Brown. Franklin drives down the middle of the lane. Brown with the ball fake. 
The hook shot is up, no good. Rebound, Boston. And he'll run the other way, looking to start something on a fast break. Turnover by Boston. Franklin saves it. It's off to Patterson, and they're going to call a push foul. Oh, number 23, John Hart. That'll be his first, team first. Barton leads 6 to nothing with 17.59 left in the game. Dean will inbound to Franklin. Franklin out to Johnson as he looks to penetrate Hart defending the fadeaway shot is up and good that shot is good for Keith Johnson a 6'4 junior guard from Hopkins South Carolina Boston coming the other way will pass into Hart Hart on the post backing down out to Manley Manley gives it back to Hart once again and Brown that's Manley a 19 footer from the corner is short the Crusaders will gain possession and come running the other way. The three-pointer is up, in and out. Follow by Brown is no good. Hart will control the ball and dribble it down the court for the Bulldogs as he hands it to McNair. And the Bulldogs will start the offense here with Brian McNair. McNair, the, the Bulldogs' second leading scorer, averaging 15.7 points a game. As he missed last season with an ACL injury, the transfer from Gardner-Webb is off to a great start. The, that's John Hart with a slam dunk from Aaron Brown. 8-2, to two, the Bulldogs lead with 16.35 left in the first half. And that's Brown guarding Chris Dean. Patterson. We'll back it out. Looking for a screen from Brown. He gets it. The three-pointer is up from the top of the key. Is off. Boston with the rebound. And will run it for the Bulldogs. Hart. The shot is up. But he will first be called with a traveling foul. As Jarrett Jernigan enters the game for the Bulldogs. Replacing Keith, Keith Manley. Manley, the Bulldogs. Leading Steeler with three steals per game. The Bulldogs playing their high intensity man-to-man -man defense. As Patterson drives the baseline, Jernigan with the block, and that'll get the Barton faithful on their feet for a quick second as the Bulldogs lead eight to two with 16 minutes left in the ball game. That'll be Franklin to inbound under his own hoop as they have a four across set for the Crusaders the three is up and good for Johnson but first a foul is called that foul is going to be called on Jarrett Jernigan that will be his first team second for the Bulldogs and Patterson will inbound for the Crusaders the backdoor screen the layup is up by Johnson. Is no good as he is fouled and will go to the line shooting two. That's Keith Johnson, a 6'4 junior guard for the Crusaders. Looks like Brian McNair has the defensive duties on Tyshawn Patterson. Currently Conference Carolina's leading scorer so far this season. Averaging 28 points a game as he had 33 the other night against Brevard. 